Hello masculine, Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. I just wanted to show you a new painting that I'm still working on. Scott Whelan from Stone Temple Pilots. So, still got a little bit more. So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for June the 9th until the, oh my god, 16th. <laughs> So I just wanted to say thank you to all the masculines who have ordered re um, readings recently. I am so stoked to see you guys. Um, oh, hold on a minute. I just need to turn off my volume here. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm so stoked to see masculines uh, ordering the readings. It's um, nice to see their perspective and you know, their transformation, that kind of thing. So, awesome! Alright, so I'm using the John Holland. I'm going to do a split Divine Partnership reading um, for the Divine Masculine. Okay, so this doesn't necessarily have to be for a male. It could be for a feminine as well. So if you resonate with it, it was meant for you, okay? Alright, so here we go. I'm using my cards for clarifiers. So beginning with... Um, how do you view the relationship with the feminine? Wow. Spiritual union. He recognizes, or you recognize the feminine as your uh, twin flame. Um, it's a very strong energy. It's a spiritual energy that, you know, your heart chakra is activated and which activates higher levels of consciousness. So you feel unconditional love for your feminine and, um, you see that spiritual connection, that soulmate, twin flame connection. So I'm going to pull three cards for that. Eight of Swords. Wow. Knight of Cups. And the Solar Plexus Chakra. So the, if you look at these sequence of cards, um, I don't think I've ever explained it before, but there's like a past, present, and future um, storyline being represented here. So... The Eight of Swords is kind of telling me that you felt locked out of this union. Um, you were you felt imprisoned by the mind. So this is um, an oppressive energy coming from the outside. Now the feminine actually got that in her near future position. So um, you know you also feel locked out. Um, so she's finding her freedom in the Twin Flame reading. Uh, so again, it's an oppressive energy coming from the outside, and it's making you feel like you are in prison, like you can't move forward. Um, but ultimately you decide whether or not you are going to believe that you're in a prison. So you've released yourself is what I'm seeing here. You've come out of the dark. The um, Knight of Swords, or sorry, Knight of Cups is the Knight in Shining Armor. So you want to move forward and express your love, your emotions, um, this is a courting energy. It's very romantic energy. Um, but this card represents longing for union. But it's a definite movement forward. You want to move forward with this connection. The solar plexus chakra represents um, strength, um, courage, uh, power, willpower, uh, in order to pursue um, this connection or it could mean that you feel very strong as a result of coming out of this darkened state and um, you feel secure and empowered by the relationship um, and you feel love surrounding you so you desire to move forward with this connection so what are you resisting wow Ace of Cups so this was the crowning energy for the twin flame reading. So there's an awareness there that you that there's a new beginning of love, um, and this card only shows itself when you're truly ready to receive love into your life. You know, unconditional love. Um, so you've forgiven yourself, you've healed your heart, you've let go of the past, and you're truly ready to receive love into your life. So let's see why you are resisting this. Knight of Wands lover's card and the queen of swords so the knight of wands you got that in your past position for the twin flame reading so it seems to me like you went forward with this connection you know 
full steam ahead basically this is an explosion explosion um, it's a shot out of the gate it's forward on fire and it's towards you know your your destiny towards your spiritual calling um, it is unstoppable energy so there's a, a feeling that you know there was that beginning of the love you went forward with it um, and you were engaged in like this heated um, relationship the lovers card showed up um, the feminine was bringing that into the union energy so this is you know that passion that um, soulful connection that only twin flames um, share and but it's a longing energy again there's longing for union the queen of swords could represent an air sign uh, the king of swords showed up um, on the masculine side I believe yeah so uh, the queen could represent an air sign but it's like mental clarity it is um, communication um, it is seeing through bullshit it is you know cutting words it's cutting uh, barriers um, so you're resisting fully moving forward um, because you haven't expressed your truth yet or you're waiting for some kind of truthful communication um, but there's a definite awareness of the connection for sure and a desire to move forward but there's something stopping you maybe there's just something that you need to take care of that requires an emotional detachment okay so and this could also represent you know the divine feminine um, who is you know um, unwavering she knows her truth uh, but I don't know why that would be resisting well let's continue on okay so message from your higher self Wow um, the chariot this showed up in your near future position so this is um, taking the reins and directing yourself towards that goal that dream that makes you happy so this is a water card so it's an emotional card it's doing the things that you you know that you want to do that make you happy um, so your higher self is telling you to move forward to um, you know this card is about your um, willpower and um, steering yourself through obstacles um, and the obstacles are not a big deal it's like um, you know the the end goal is so worth it so it's not letting anything stop you so your higher self is telling you to move forward five of swords seven of cups and the king of wands so the um, queen of wands showed up in the feminine's present position um, wand energy is spirituality but I'll come back to this card okay uh, five of swords represents conflict and defeat it's arguing it's negative energy finger pointing it is the kind of energy that has made you feel imprisoned unemotional um, always making you feel like you're the bad guy so that kind of energy would come from you know someone who's unemotional who has cutting words so maybe that's why this card is showing up in this position it's somebody is um, stopping you from believing that you are worthy of love that you're worthy of a connection like this um, so yeah it's you know walking away from that negative energy and remember this is coming up in kind of like the past position so it's almost like on a subconscious level your higher self has already decided to move away from that the seven of cups represents um, having a lot of choices and not seeing your way clearly uh, all the choices are great choices and the sub message is to listen to your heart um, so it's kind of a pause reflection energy in order to make a decision but ultimately 
your higher self is telling you to move forward. And that is exactly what you do. So the future position card is um, the King of Wands. This is somebody who is a spiritual leader, um, who is like a, the leader of a revolution, who is unchained from society, who is very powerful, on fire, the center of the sun. Um, and, you know, your solar plexus chakra is activated at the moment. So that's very reflective energy, you know, that um, the power um, that this person has is just incredible, very influ influential and um, um, makes things happen, basically. So awesome to have these cards together. You know, the Spirit is saying, take those reins, find your independence, be the leader, and make shit happen. No more hazy, confused energy. You know what to do. It's to move away from that negative energy, um, that unemotional energy towards love. Okay, so your past position, third eye chakra, very nice. So, um, here you can see how the two twins have their third eye chakra activated here as well as the crown chakra. So, this card really means, you know, you're listening to your intuition, your inner voice. Um, but, you know, you're seeing visions, you're hearing messages from source, you're um, tapping into wisdom and knowledge, um, from your past, the stuff that, you, you know, the wisdom and knowledge that you've gained from your journey and you're allowing that to guide you and that's kind of why you've had this, you know, recognition in your twin. Um, it's awakened your third eye chakra. Six of swords, seven of wands, third eye chakra again. That's crazy. Um, so six of swords represents you finally make a decision to walk away from a negative uh, situation. So that's what this Eight of Swords is, why it's coming up in the past. Um, it's you've unlocked your mind, you've released yourself, you've um, moved to a calmer state. Um, so the sword energy is fought. So you've, um, you're the calm within the storm. The seven, or yeah, the seven of wands. This talks about power and strength. Again, the solar plexus chakra activated. Um, you know, you're no longer that knight of wands. You're being represented as the king of wands. Very powerful. So, seven of wands is expressing yourself, um, finding your willpower and courage uh, to knock back down, to go after the things that. Um, or not go after anything, but it's, it's, it's fighting for what you want and it's expressing yourself, finding courage not to back down. And then again with the third eye chakra, from that experience, from that moving to, you know, stillness and finding your power, connecting to your higher self, listening to your intuition, um, but also being connected to your twin flame on a soul level has, you know, um, has helped you like I said before, uh, be aware of this connection and help you find your power. Okay, so your present position, four of pentacles, firm foundation. So in the John Holland deck, um, I really see this as a solid firm foundation being grounded like the mountain. So you feel um, you feel strong. Um, like you've, you know, you're standing on abundance and you're unmoving. Powerful, is what I'm seeing here. Um, so the Four of Pentacles could also represent being closed off to somebody, not letting anybody in, uh, holding on too tightly or to something, not sharing. So let's see what it's referring to. Page of Cups. Wow, Heart Chakra. Wow, Twin Flame, 1111 confirmation card <laughs> wow so this is all love all emotional beautiful awesomeness <clears throat> so right now 
presently, you feel grounded, you feel strong. Um, and this comes from communication of love. The Page of Cups is the muse. It's, uh, it's communicating your love, expressing your love. Um, the, the muse is someone who inspires artists um, to create, but it's really wanting a, you know, a start uh, in a relationship and um, you know, making gestures, uh, communicating your feelings. But it's kind of a, it's not a movement forward, but it's a desire. I got uh, Scott Pilgrim, and I always think of the quote, that one girl, you know what I mean? He desires his relationship with this one girl, and um, that's what the whole movie is about, basically. The heart chakra. Oh my God. And it's by the 1111 card. Right now, your heart is open. Um, you're feeling love. Um, and, you know, it's unconditional love, just like this Ace of Cups. It's flowing into you. You know, you're channeling it. You're allowing love in, and you're also um, giving love. So it's in your resisting position, so you're not fully, um, you know, being able to um, allow that love to flow just yet. So I think that's also why that Four of Pentacles is there. There's a sense of um, desire to want it, but there's something holding you back. Okay, so anyway, um, the eleven eleven card is confirmation uh, that you, the Divine Masculine, recognize your twin flame and that energy is coming towards you because your heart chakra is open. Oh my God, I want to cry. That's so beautiful. Okay, so your future position destiny again with the heart chakra activated and it's a feminine energy being represented here so it's like the feminine is, is uh, standing there waiting to embrace you with her heart chakra open so this is a wheel of fortune um, this represents destiny so you know it's uh, like the clockwork universe things tick along move along um, and eventually you know destiny arrives at your door so that's basically what that's saying and um, so this is a karmic card it means that things are going to come back to you in a good way the tide is going to change um, things are going to start flowing in your direction wow the king of swords again ace of pentacles wow the magician very interesting so the feminine got these two cards in her reading and the masculine, as I mentioned earlier, had the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is communicator. Um, he is could represent an air sign, but it's um, it's making a decision, being unwavering, cutting through barriers, and expressing yourself. You know, and being emotionally detached in order to make that decision. So. Hmm. I was just noticing here that there's three ones. We got a ten, reduce this to one, then the ace of pentacles is a one, and then the magician is a one. So your destiny is the twin flame connection. So I I would even say, you know, the this court card would be, you know, one <laughs> as well. So eleven eleven there. So what I'm seeing here is the you, the Divine Masculine, make that decision ultimately, the thing that you're resisting, you finally step into your authority, make a decision either to communicate um, or to, um, you know, move forward with this union. So the Ace of Pentacles represents a brand new beginning in the 3D world. So it's that seed being planted. Um, it also represents a gift from the universe. So, you know, beautiful key releasing yourself from that prison um, so the magician card is manifesting a brand new life your crown chakra is activated you realize how powerful you are and you're actually manifesting your dreams into reality so yeah I just see this mental clarity and this shift and beautiful energy flow back towards you abundance um, an offering, 
a new beginning in the 3D world and more manifestation, more power, um, more mental clarity, more, um, yeah, just a new life. You realize how powerful you are. It's, you know, you're going after that twin flame connection, you make that decision, and because you do, all this abundance flows into your life. All right, so message from the universe, new beginning, full card. Remember how you got the world card as a final outcome. So that's that final piece of the puzzle and it would be the uh, end of the fool's journey. Here we have um, a message from the universe uh, is telling you that it's time um, to take that leap of faith to start that new life. And um, this is, you know, seeing the world through a child's eyes, innocent and pure, unattached, no fears, trusting in destiny. Tower, Nine of Cups, Five of Pentacles. So the Tower card was the heart-centered energy for the Twin Flame reading. So it is... Um, the old life, the old foundation is coming down between the two twins. Like there's all the falseness, all the lies, um, all the barriers. It's all coming down in order to make room for this new beginning. So remember, it's coming in kind of in a past position. So um, for the masculine, you've been through the tower already. You've already released yourself from that mental prison. So from that ending is this new beginning and the nine of cups rep represents wish granted your wishes are going to be fulfilled because of that surrender because of um, you know that spiritual work that you've been doing um, you've been working hard and now your dreams will be manifested again dreams manifested energy so this is an arrival card it's getting to that point where you're you can enjoy life, do all the things that make you happy. And that was a strong theme as well on your in your in the twin flame reading. You know, pursuing that thing that makes you happy. And that's what these kind of these two cards are saying to me. It's time to um, take that leap of faith and live the life you've always desired. The Pentacle, Five of Pentacles, this represents releasing yourself from something in the three D world, you know. Metamorphically, or, uh, metaphorically, <laughs> metamorphically, <laughs> metaphorically, shooting yourself in the foot in order to find that freedom. And it may require some form of financial loss, but it's not a big deal because you are actually going to be, you know, manifesting this true authentic life for yourself. The life that you were living was fake, false, an illusion. Um, and it requires a sacrifice, again, repeated theme in your reading, but ultimately it is going to bring your, your dreams towards you if you just take that leap of faith, is what the card's saying. Because it's a twin flame connection, you. All right, so what's in your environment? Wow, high priest. So this was the energy that you're bringing into the twin flame reading. So you have found your power um, not only in your own personal life but spiritually as well you're being seen as a leader so it's coming up in your environment though so someone in your environment makes you feel this way is reflecting this energy back towards you so let's see wow we don't fortune again oh my god the high priest again and the queen of pentacles Okay, so repeated card, um, Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, it's coming in your fu uh, future position. So um, this energy is coming from the feminine. Um, remember I said that um, there's somebody who is reflecting this energy back towards you. Well, here we go again with the High Priest and a um, Divine Feminine energy bef um, in front of that. So let's go back to this, okay? so. Somebody in your environment, the Divine Feminine, okay, is your destiny. Destiny's knocking on your door and asking you to take that leap of faith. 
you've done the work, you've done the clearing, and um, um, so there's this energy of a new beginning, um, but not necessarily, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to happen in the 3D. It's, you know, the first card to show up was a spiritual union, although I do see indications that it, there's that 3D beginning in the future, so there could be communication regarding that. But it's really, you know, you're starting to manifest it is what I'm seeing there. You feel grounded and successful and enough to move forward with that. Okay, so the uh, Wheel of Fortune could represent the completion of a cycle from 5 to 10 years. So it's, you know, what goes around comes around and it's good energy coming back towards you. Um, the High Priest, again, spiritual leader, crown activation, um, powerful energy pure you know beautiful energy so there's a reflection here what i'm seeing it's like the divine feminine is reflecting the high priest back to him you know showing him um, how powerful how beautiful he is and then we got the queen of pentacles so this is could represent an earth sign <clears throat> but this is a divine feminine in the 3d so i think in last week's reading there or the the, we, the reading before that, there was an energy of him afraid of um, making contact in the 3D with the feminine. So now I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing this empowerment and a grounding coming from the feminine. So her strength, her um, success, her... Um, yeah, what I'm really feeling is just a heavy grounding energy has helped this cycle come to, you know, completion or nearing the completion and show the Divine Mask and how power, powerful he is. Um, or it could mean that, you know, the Divine Mask wants contact with the feminine. Or maybe the Divine Feminine is with the masculine in his environment right now. Um... So what this card represents is independence. It's, um, you know, being financially wealthy, not having to rely on anybody. And so, you know, maybe that's inspiring the masculine to find his freedom as well, his independence. Okay, so what do you fear? Six of Wands, victory and success. Why do you fear <clears throat> victory and success? Nine of Pentacles, okay. Eight of one, or sorry, eight of cups, and the High Priestess. So the Nine of Pentacles again, it represents independence. Um, you got this in, I think it was your present position. I can't really remember, but it's arriving at that point where you don't have to worry about money anymore. Very similar energy to the Queen. Um, so it's a uh, harvest it's you know ripeness the fruit is ready to drop from the branches um it's being able to do whatever you desire and um you know treat yourself so the eight of cups represents walking away from something that is emotionally draining and it also is going on a pilgrimage a spiritual quest and then the high priestess is the divine feminine in a spiritual form. I always relate these two cards together, high priest and high priestess. So this is your using your intuition. You know, maybe this is, you know, these two cards together could represent the divine feminine and divine masculine connected in the 5D. Um, so let's go back to the eight of cups. So you, there's a sense that you're afraid to walk away from something, um, which you know, it's, you, you feel successful, you feel a lot of abundance coming into your life, um, very success, successful actually, and it has to do with your spirituality, you're on the, the right spiritual path, um, but there's something you still need to walk away from, or, um, hmm, yeah, because it's in your fear position, so maybe you, you're afraid of actually taking that leap of faith, trusting because there's a you know an emotional component associated with it so you know this is having no attachments spirit is telling you to 
be like the child, but you are, you know, these cards are, are not, are telling me that you are not being the child. In fact, there, there's a lot of importance being placed on the 3D world. You know, your emotional well-being is, is coming in as well as your spiritual path. So I think the high priestess is the divine feminine saying, still your mind, don't allow these fears to consume you. Um, you know, to surrender and again be like that child because if you're able to release whatever it is that is, you know, that final connection, um, then everything's going to work out great. Okay, so fear not. Um, destiny uh, has it all planned out for you. Spirit has your back. Okay, so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Wow, patience, temperance card. So the feminine got this in her recent past position. It's, you know, what I was picking up from that. Usually I see this as the ultimate union card. Um, and because there's a lot of longing for union, this very well could represent union in this situation. Um, but it's also having patience, you know, planting that seed and um, nurturing it so it grows into that beautiful flower but it also represents having pay, um, balance in all areas of your life as well so ultimately what I feel is that the twins coming back together the souls winding again and yeah ultimate union is what I'm picking up from that and it's because of patience because you didn't rush in, into anything because you found your balance um, and that's what, you know, brought that energy towards you through the law of attraction. So, overall energy, patience, union. Alright, so now I'm going to pull one card from um, Miss and Mermaids. So this will be the message from the universe. What final messages do you have for the Divine Masculine Twin Flame? This one. My tentacled friend. Okay, so I almost felt this energy when I looked at that. I haven't read this before. Oops, wrong book. My tentacled friend, I am extended in eight directions, torn and pulled beyond the max. I have thumbs in too many puddings. I must withdraw, renew, and relax. Yeah. That's what I was feeling in the Twin Flame reading, too, as well. An exhausted sea maiden holds on limply to her octopus companion. She is overextended, tired, and in need of rest. Um, revi bleh, revitalization or rebirth. God, let me say that sentence again. Okay, she is overextended, tired, and in need of rest. Revitalate. <laughs> Another word I can't uh, pronounce. That's fun. Okay, revitalization or rebirth. Her paler suggests depleted energy and warning, uh, and warning, or sorry, waning vigor. Oh my God, I can't freaking talk today. All right, so the message. Reclaim your overextended self. You have become overextended like an octopus who has stretched each arm in different directions. The overextension has left you weak, vulnerable, and haggard. It is time to reduce your obligations and draw inward for a time. Decide upon your highest priorities and release those duties that no longer aid you or are not as important as they once were. Reclaim the part of yourself, both mentally and physically, that are being improperly used and let them rest for a time. When you are feeling stronger, put them back to use constructively. If you see the need, or sorry, if you see the need, but do not let yourself get over overburdened again always keep an arm in the reserve for a surprise 
task uh, that is near and dear to your heart or fuels your personal ambition. Always keep an arm in reserve for a surprise task that is near and dear to your heart or fuels your personal ambition. Okay, I just noticed that there was a card on the ground here. Wow. <laughs> Disruption card. <laughs> That's hilarious. Jumped out of my hand. So, um, yeah, you need to put down the burdens because the tower card represents, um, you know, it's a sudden energy, comes in out of the blue, and it rocks your world. It tears down everything. Um, that no longer serves you. That's exactly this card. So the tower is coming. Allow it to fall. All right. So please let me know if this resonated with you. Um, your support, your encouragement, your comments, your likes mean a lot to me and give me the confidence to keep going. Um, so once again, thank you for ordering your readings. I love you guys. Cheers.